we have some sustainable ideas about food, your home, and your trash. Fire, a Shaker Heights restaurant, serves organic and locally grown food. We're here at Fire Restaurant with Douglas Katz to talk about food and how it's sustainable. Well, at FIRE, it's sustainable, um, and we've chosen that path because we are located on Shaker Square, which is an old uh, historic retail district, and we have a farmer's market at, at Shaker Square every Saturday. Why would somebody want to buy and eat locally grown yeah. foods? The most important reason is you know where your food is coming from. If you buy it local, you can interact with a farmer that is growing that food, and you can see it, you could taste it, and it makes it that much better. And the only way that I can help support the community is through buying local and supporting local businesses. And so to me it's it's a whole, you know, lifestyle and it's my passion to support our community, to be a part of our community. And so the only way I can do that is by serving sustainable food. And sustainable food is food that you can grow locally, that you can buy locally, um, and doing things in the restaurant, you know, having real interaction with with real people and having a soulful experience for our diners um, which I think is missing in a lot of places today. Most of your customers aren't restaurants because there's few restaurants for whatever reason that are choosing this it's more of the general population. Yes, mostly health conscious people who've uh, done some research and found out about benefits of a high, higher omega-3. Grass-fed beef is as high in omega-3 as most fish. This is what's called a sustainable fish. Yes. It is one that is either fed a sustainable diet where you're not killing a lot of other ocean life or chickens or you know other animals in order to feed it or uh, it's actually sustainable because of the way it's, it's farmed or the way it's, it's fished. So you make a decision to buy a specific fish in a store you could actually be damaging the environment with that purchase? Yes, and it's really important for restaurants to understand this. I'm an ambassador to the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch program, and it's important because we serve so much fish, and if we are not understanding which fish are sustainable, within 20 years we could lose our entire fish population based on disease or, or problems in the ocean, dead zones in the ocean. So the Monterey Bay Aquarium does a ton of research and tells us which fish are sustainable and which ones we should be serving. Fire, your restaurant, versus the big chains. Well, I think we have an easier time buying local and buying better product because the chains really are so big that they have to buy their products in such a huge quantity that you're not able to buy from a local or a small farm. You're not able to check the quality across the board. You have to buy products that are, I would say, grown in a way that are, there's more consistency. You can't, you can't go to a farm and pick these tomatoes because they taste so great and you have maybe two bushels today. And a chain has to buy six million bushels in order to you know, supply all of their restaurants. If you eat uh, local and sustainable, you're getting great food all year round and you're focusing on the foods that are growing at those times. Is pasture-fed beef better for you? Well, sure, there's uh, several different ways it's better. It's better, it's higher in omega-3 and lower in omega-6. It has the right ratio of omega-3 to omega-6, so it keeps your cholesterol down. It's also higher in CLA, which is conjunctively acid which is an uh, amino acid that is a cancer-fighting agent. It's also uh, higher in a few vitamins. And also, it, our beef is raised on uh, organic pastures, so you're going to get a lot more nutrition out of our beef. It's going to be raised in a more healthy way. As someone does research, they, they tend to, you know, these things change their minds. And it might be slow, but I think it happens. Is a sustainable restaurant financially profitable and stable for you? It is, and I think more so than a chain restaurant these days because you're able to focus on your operation. 
when you have one or two restaurants and you're within your local community, you can really connect with your customer and you can, you're small enough that you can really handle the, the changes in the economy and the economics of this area. And you can offer specials that are important to the community. You can offer uh, programs that, that they will relate to. And I think we tend to stay much more profitable in these times because we're really in touch with what our customers are looking for. Hi, this is Todd V. And Dave Kettlewell. Welcome to ProCon. Yes, indeed. Now, we're going to be discussing the positives of going with an organic and locally sustainable restaurant. Well, that's what you're going to be talking about. Yeah. yeah, that's right. I'm talking about the positives. I've got the bazooka. We're going to be talking about that. So, Dave, how could you possibly have issue, take issue with this? Well, first of all, just to refresh, the segment we just saw talks about the idea of eating organic food and then eating locally grown food. I'm not going to say that there's no merit to each, but I would say this. There was a time when society in America was based on your community. Right. You grew your food here, you lived here, everything you right. made came from here. And then we had this thing called growth of civilization. And society opened up when we started to realize that our neighbors were our friends too. And one of the things that's true today is that we have a, a world economy and we try to have some consideration for the people in Ecuador and the people that are in Latin America and the people that are in China, understanding that there's a home for them here on this planet too. So when we talk about preferential treatment for people locally, I have to say that it kind of flies in the face of what's been occurring in economics in the last 80 or so years. Now, as far as the organically grown thing, Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't even agree with this. You got, you're, 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 you're a proponent for the big box store. Is that what you're telling me right now? What has happened is we've lost that we've become a homogenized society. Everything is the same no matter where I go, anywhere in the country. And I think there's something special about going to a restaurant. Okay, there's something things. special. Okay, yeah. I'll grant you there's something special. <laughs> okay. But does that equate into something that should be a paradigm for society? And my feeling is that, you know, it's great that foods are organically grown locally and there's some pluses for the gentleman that does that in his business and for us too. Exactly. But I'm also open to supporting bananas from Latin America because you know this is a world and we need to be cognizant that it's not just the Americans, it's the people all around the world and we want to encourage commerce and products from all over the world. I think there's some merit to that but the problem we have is now that we've become totally dependent on those food sources from other parts of the world. If, if we were cut off right now, we'd be left with basically corn in this country. So we That's need... like saying that, like back in the early 1900s, that if we continue to have more horses, that we wouldn't be able to get the poop off the streets. You have taken a far extreme of a far extreme. I'm sure you have other arguments that are more compelling. <laughs> no, I'm right on topic here. The fact is, <laughs> when you have all of this stuff that's brought in from outside the country, first of all, we have a loss of control, we have a loss of quality, and we have all these food scares that we have right now. Now, like the farmer that we talked to there at FIRE, I'm not really concerned about having a big E. coli uh, recall out of his farm because he's got a very controlled environment. Wait a second. When we're talking second. about... You just said that there's a, a problem with quality mm -hmm. with things that are from overseas. I mean, actually, some of the best glassware in the world comes from Germany and Czechoslovakia. That's fantastic, but I don't eat glass. Well, there are people <laughs> in the circus that do, and that would be a far <laughs> argument, be too, really, so I'm on it would, that It would be really cool. Well. But... I guess what I'm saying is, is that when we talk about locally grown, there are pluses, there are pluses, there are minuses. Do we care about the farmers in Ohio? Yes, but we care about the farmers elsewhere. 